Okay, so as you may or may not know, with iOS 16, the lock screen of iPhone is getting one of its biggest updates in forever. You can now add extensions and shortcuts to the lock screen of iPhone, and in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a few applications that will be taking advantage of the lock screen and improve the user experience. So when iOS 16 is officially out, you can download these applications and enhance the user experience for the lock screen of iPhone on iOS 16. And now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and and Apple software updates, of course, and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, since iOS 16 is still in beta as of the filming of this video, a lot of these applications are being tested through test flight, and I'll link as many as I can in the description down below. Now, the first one I want to talk about is Lock Launcher. This application allows you to create shortcuts for the lock screen of your iPhone for particular applications so you can launch applications directly from the lock screen of your iPhone. All you have to do is click on the plus icon here. Go ahead and select an icon. You can choose from app, symbol, or camera roll. I'm gonna go ahead and type in a Twitter here. Let's go ahead and type in Twitter. Click return. It's gonna populate Twitter here. Let's go ahead and add a link as well. Let's go ahead and type Twitter. So there it is, selecting Twitter. Save this one here. We can go ahead and save it. And now we have the ability to add a third extension for the lock screen here for Twitter. Let's go ahead and go into customizing mode. Tap on the widget icon there. Go ahead and find the application lock launcher go ahead and add an app tap onto the app and select the actual extension for twitter and now we're set and ready to go to launch twitter directly from the lock screen this works exactly the same for every single application so yeah this application lock launcher will improve the user experience for you within ios 16 by creating shortcuts for applications or extensions on the lock screen to launch your favorite apps. Now the next app is Contact Lock Screen Widget. And as the name implies, this allows you to create a shortcut for your favorite contacts. And you can go ahead and make a phone call, send a message or a FaceTime initiated directly from the lock screen of your iPhone using this application right here. Now it allows you to create a shortcut here by creating a widget. Let's go ahead and select a contact here. I can also remove the avatar right there or the Memoji, remove the background, customize it as I wish. And then I can select rather make a phone call when I tap on the extension create a message or make a FaceTime call I'm gonna go with messages here I'm gonna go ahead and name this whatever I want and I'm gonna save this to spot number two and now I can go back into the lock screen here go into customizing options here tap on the widget look for the application right there for the extension tap here and now I can go ahead and add a second contact right there so you can see right there I can go ahead and add a second contact go ahead and click done in this application it's going to help you create shortcuts for your favorite contacts on the lock screen of your iPhone again improving the user experience for you within iOS 16. now this next app as the name implies creates a countdown on the lock screen of your iPhone for whatever it is maybe back to school an exam or maybe a birthday or an event that you're anticipating so countdown allows you to create a countdown of course on the lock screen of your iPhone in order for you to keep tabs on what's going to happen next and you can create multiple of course right now I only have one as you can see right here in order to create a contact you launch the application of course you tap on the plus icon here and create and customize the actual extension as you wish once you're done of course you can go ahead and save it I already created one for back to school as you can see right there is counting down the days the hours the minutes even the seconds as you can see right there you have settings and all that good stuff I'm sure a lot of these applications will also have have minor tweaking before they're officially released in the app store but right there it is as you can see it gives me a countdown to back to school but you can set a birthday as I mentioned maybe an event something that you're waiting on you can go ahead and of course add this extension right here by using the same method finding the application extension in the menu tap in you have a small and a medium sized widget and now you can have a countdown of an event or something that you're waiting for directly on the lock screen of your iPhone with the application countdown and this one of course will also improve and enhance the user experience on your iPhone within iOS 16. And the last application I wanted to share with you guys in today's video allows you to create an extension shortcut for your iPod music directly on the lock screen of your iPhone. So let's go into customizing here, go into customize and tap on the widget. If you see here, right here I have the extension for lock pod. I have two options here to choose from. I can tap here, tap on the actual widget and select the artist that I want. Right there I have Michael Jackson and now I can have Michael Jackson radio station directly on the lock screen and I can tap into that and it will start playing Michael Jackson music of course I can't do that due to copyright but there's the application lock launcher and of course it's very simple to use you can tap on the plus icon here and you can select from playlist for your favorite artist 
a station, an album. So let's go with station here. I'm gonna name it whatever, something just ABC right there, ABC, just for the purpose of the video quickly. And I can select here recommended or actual Apple Music. I can search, so station, I'm gonna go with Bad Bunny here just for the purpose of this video. If you select album, you can also add album artwork right there and you can select from two different sizes for the widget, click add, and that's all you have to do. Now your artist will be added to the list and you can go back into the lock screen and add that additional artist if you wish to do so by finding the extension. So you have an iPod extension with LockPod on the lock screen of your iPhone. Just tap into here, go ahead and customize the widget. ABC will be the Bad Bunny widget. And there we go. We now have two artists, playlists or albums or anything that I want to set on the lock screen as an iPod extension for your iOS 16 lock screen. Let me know what you think about these applications. I will try to link as many as possible in the description down below because a lot of these are still in beta and the beta spots do fill up and sometimes there's not enough for everyone, but just check out the links in the description as more become available. I'll be sharing those with you guys. Once iOS 16 is available, you can find these applications most likely be available in the app store if the developers decide to launch them and you'll be able to enhance the user experience on the lock screen of your iPhone within iOS 16. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.